sorry, didn't see you there. I was busy reading my Epcot International Festival of the Arts passport because today's opening day. In case you didn't know, Festival of the Arts is my favorite Epcot festival. I think it might even be my favorite time of year, like more than Christmas and Halloween. It's definitely up there. Everything is just so colorful and happy and the weather's not too bad. And I hope you guys are ready because there is so much to do, I don't even know where to start. Wait, I have an idea. Guys, I kid you not, I just had my Emily in Paris moment. I have to tell you all about it, but first, let's get a few snacks. I got so many exciting foods, so let's try them all. The first thing I want to try is called a fruit pizza. So it's watermelon, cantaloupe, blueberries. Let's try it. That's nice actually. There's like a little glaze. I think it's a berry glaze. It's very refreshing. I rate it Mm, I give it a 4 out of 10. It's like an elevated watermelon. Next, we're gonna try the rainbow cake. It is beautiful. The colors are literally just as vibrant in person as they are on camera. It's Skittles flavored or it's made with, I don't know. We're just gonna try. That's so good. See, I'm not the biggest Skittles fan, so I didn't really have high expectations for this, but this is incredible. Do I give it a 10 out of 10? I feel like that's too high. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because the taste is so good. It's unique, but also it's so colorful. Now I saved the best for last. This is a grape smoothie with Skittles on it, but it comes in the cutest little figment cup. I did get it just for the cup, but we're gonna try it. Okay, I really don't like grape flavored things. I think that's my least favorite thing. So I wasn't expecting to like this, and I don't. But I'm glad I tried it. Like it's really creamy, it's a great smoothie. If you like grape, then this is really good. But the, the aftertaste, it tastes like cough medicine. The cup though, totally worth it. I have to tell you guys the story of how I literally had an Emily in Paris moment. I was in line for the paint by numbers mural and there was a guy in front of me. It was just him. And I kind of wanted a photo of myself because it was just me. And I was like, well maybe if he's solo, I can ask to get a photo of him and maybe he can take a photo of me. So I was like, excuse me, like are you alone? And he goes, I'm sorry, I don't speak English. And I go, French? He goes, oh, do you speak French? And I go, um, puh. He goes, oh, um, puh. And I was like, oui. And it was so embarrassing. The lady in front of him in line was literally laughing. I think it was nice laughing. I took French in high school for two years, so that's like nothing. I know very little French, but I was like trying. So I was like, qu'est-ce que tu, uh, une photo avec toi? And he's like, oh, do you want me to take a photo of you? But he said it in French. And I was like, no, no, uh, toi. And he's like, oh, no, I don't need a photo. And then he had a Google Translate on his phone and he typed something out. He was like, I love your videos. I'm from France, but I love your videos. And I go, merci, merci. I kid you not, a TV Emily in Paris moment. I feel like I kind of messed it up though because my French was n'est pas bon. It wasn't good.
picked a really bad time to film because the Disney on Broadway concert series just I'm tearing up am I okay it just started and they're singing one of my favorite songs and it's go from the Freaky Friday musical I think it's the Disney Channel musical it's one of my favorite songs but I found it from last year they sang the same thing oh my gosh I'm about to, okay anyways we're seeing that later, but as for right now, we're in Italy and it's cold, so I put on a puffer jacket and I got this really cool thing. It's like mozzarella, but you can dip it in a bunch of things. I'm just gonna dip it. I think this is like a balsamic. I don't even know. Oh, that's heavenly. This is the marinara. So it's balsamic, marinara, pesto, and Maybe like a mayo. You know, I'm not a big pesto fan. I wish I was, because I feel like it should be really good. I know I'm in Italy, but I feel like I'm in Paris. I'm gonna all of them on the last bite. That was so good, and it was so fun. It's not a lot of food, so it was like $8. It was very fun to try. I will say the one thing I'm really disappointed about is that there's no specialty coffee for this festival. Last year, Joffrey's came out with like cereal coffees and it was so fun trying all the different ones. This year, it's frozen drinks. And I'm just not a frozen drink gal, especially not in this weather. So it's like 50s, like low 60s. When the sun's going down, it's about to be freezing, so. <sighs> also, I looked at the merch and it's, it's kind of dark and black and I just, I don't really wear a lot of black clearly, but I kind of want the annual pass holder shirt. I really like the message on it because it's like create your own magic. That's literally everything I stand for. So I don't think I'm going to buy any merch today, but the more I look at that shirt, I might end up buying it. We'll see. Bonjour. I'm in France right now just for a second so it's about six o'clock and I actually have a few friends coming to meet up with me I know it's crazy I have friends anyways I'm actually really excited I think we're gonna try the festival drinks just kind of hang out here at Epcot but before I do that I want to show you guys my little festival of the arts nighttime routine I started doing this last year and I completely forgot about it until like right now so this is what we do I'm gonna go to Japan and get the sushi donut that's one of my favorite treats here to get and then I'm gonna go line up for the Disney on Broadway concert series which you guys know I love I was a theater kid and so I just go and sit down and eat my little sushi donut while I listen to some Broadway and for me it's pretty magical so let's go do that Jasmine together on stage. That's right. 
While I was starring on Broadway, Ariel was originating the role of Jasmine in the Australian production, Down Under. Yeah. And Disney loves to keep it in the family, so much so that Adam also played Simba in The Lion King on Broadway. Yes, enough already. We all know it's a small world after all. Tell me why I wish that I could sing. Like I wish I had a beautiful Broadway voice so I could go on Broadway and originate a Disney on Broadway role. Do all of that just so in a few years later after my time, I could come back here to Epcot and sing in the Disney on Broadway concert series. I hope in another life I was gifted with a wonderful voice and I get to do that. <laughs> but in this life, I can't sing, so I film them and enjoy it as an audience member. It's one of my favorite things and it kind of made me feel like I was back on the cruise ship. You know how we'd go and see the Disney entertainment shows and then I'd kind of cry about it and then I'd talk to you guys about how emotional it made me? Same deal. We might be on land, but literally it was the same thing. I had tears in my eyes, I think, throughout the whole performance. Something just makes me really happy, I guess, seeing, seeing people follow their dream and live their dream cheesy. Anyways, it is freezing. I had so much fun, but I was shivering. Um, it's very, very cold. So I'm going to go home and warm up. But thank you guys so much for watching and following along with me today. I hope you had fun getting to see the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. They're about to start the Beacons of Magic and it's Figment. So let's watch it together to close out our night. Yay, Figment! You know, I'm gonna leave you with this. Something I did not have on my 2023 bucket list was that I might actually like Figment. I mean, I got the cup and everything. And they say people can't change. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want to see more Festival of the Arts adventures, I post a ton on my Instagram and TikTok at Emily and Elsay if you want to check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! With just one spark from me to you. Who am I? Imagination.